I was arrested for doing nothing other than having a book expressing those truths. Holding, and really it's those holding truths. Holding a book. Which, holding a book hold that a, you didn't even no, write. Not, not, not even holding it, actually, but being being near it on the stool. But, but uh, you know, first of all, the police were fine. And it's clear <laughs> that there was, there's, there's clearly pressure from a political source because the actual police who you see arrested me, they were very nice, George. They'd been talking to me to an hour. They had no problem with me. We were having banter. I was talking to people. Then they were told, I'm sorry, we have to confiscate the book. And they came to take the book. And, and, and I've got a video of that, so I'll, I'll post that later. But um, then they went away. And half an hour later, they said, no, no, we've got new orders now. We have to arrest you. And it was a slightly surreal thing because nothing had happened. It was a, literally nothing had happened. But quite clearly, we've seen Suella Braveman and David Cameron come out and try and you know, criminalized, say that the marchers who are protesting against the genocide in Gaza are hate marchers, saying that they're anti-Semitic, saying that the police should crack down on them. It's quite evident that at some higher level, there was a there was a referral and adjudication process, and the, the police who had been absolutely friendly and were perfectly decent to me were suddenly ordered to go into this kind of attack mode. And, you know, it's, it's an uncomfortable thing to have your liberty taken away, but it, it doesn't compare in any way to the suffering and the heroism of the P Palestinian people who through no fault of their own have found themselves on the, the cutting edge really of, of imperialist onslaught in the Middle East.